Hoboken Chronicle, Sheldon Stewart speaking. Stewart! I have to call you back. For the last time, your job is to edit the copy, not embellish it. You completely changed this article. Oh, well, I, I was just trying to... Uh... I don't care what you were trying to do. You do not write for the paper. Get it? Get it? I'm sorry, sir. I'll do better next time. Any calls? Yes, your wife called. Next. Uh, doctor called, your test results are in. All right, all right. Anything else? Yes, uh, Commissioner Howard called. He was, he was terribly upset when he couldn't get a hold of you, and I... Now you listen to me, you little weasel. I know you want to be a reporter, but you don't know who you're messing with. If I were you, I'd forget whatever it is you think you heard. Understand? But I didn't hear anything. That's good. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Now fax these documents in a hurry. You okay there, oh, Sheldon? Molly. Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm great. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Are you done with the fax machine? Ah, uh, I think it's done with me. Let me try. How did you do that? It just likes me better. Understandable. Anyway, I, I'll be down in a few minutes, I hope. Great. <laughs> Just tell her you like her already. <laughs> Is it that obvious? It's the worst kept secret in the whole office, man. Hey, Polly. Fax machine's all yours. Going somewhere? Yep. I actually got a job running a psych ward. Working here was great experience. That sounds fascinating. You know, I've always been interested in psychiatry myself. As a matter of fact, my grandfather. I'm kidding, Sheldon. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but I did get that opening at the Hudson Herald. <laughs> so, does this mean you're leaving? Yep. I actually just handed in my two weeks notice. It was glorious and long overdue. That's super. I'm so happy for you. That's an excellent paper. The articles are so incisive and interesting. Well, better get back to work. <laughs> hey, listen, I need you. Uh, why is your face in a bag? Because she's leaving. She's leaving, she'll never know how I feel. So tell her. I can't. Look, Sheldon. You gotta assert yourself here. So what if she's out of your league? So what if she... She can have any guy she wants. So what... So what if she is more successful Tom, than yours. Tom, you're not so big. Look, my point is, none of that matters. Maybe, just maybe, she feels the same way that you do. What if she doesn't? Well, you better find out soon or you'll never have another chance. I can't even say good morning to her. How am I gonna tell her how I feel? Write her a letter. Polly, I have your mail. Oh, thank you, Sheldon. It's hard to believe I won't be bringing it to you much longer. You know what? Enough is enough. Ah! Hmm. Something the matter, Sheldon? I just... I mean, uh, what if there was something important in there? <laughs> that would be a first. First time for everything. Look 
looking for something? I was just, uh... Get on your feet and get back to work. This paper is not going to publish itself, you know. I just need to find... Um... Now! <laughs> get a load of this. Dear Polly, I know we've never spoken much, but ever since the first time we met, I've always been swept away by your intelligence and beauty. <laughs> I have enjoyed our brief times together, chatting by the elevators and at the water cooler. <laughs> you are a beautiful, smart, charming, and vivacious woman. <laughs> I would consider myself to be the happiest enough. and luckiest man in America if you were to accept my invitation for dinner this Friday evening. I have suffered many indignities while working here. I've been yelled at, laughed at, overworked and underpaid. But this, I don't have to take this anymore. What can I get you tonight? Just coffee for now, please. And uh, maybe a job application while you're at it. I'm sorry about what happened this afternoon. What Masterson did was inexcusable, even by his standards. You have nothing to be sorry for. I'm the one who should be sorry. I've never been more embarrassed in my life. Sheldon, don't be silly. What you wrote was very sweet and surprisingly eloquent. Thank you. Do you have a pen by any chance? <laughs> have you ever been convicted of a felon? Not lately, no. <laughs> Have you ever been caught stealing from an employer? What kind of people apply to this place? Felons, thieves, and ex-reporters. Let's just make sure we leave this guy a good tip. <laughs> you know, in all the time we've been working together, I don't think I ever heard you laugh once. Sheldon. So it's true. <laughs> Mr. Masterson really is in cahoots with the commissioner. Are you surprised? I don't know. It just seems so... corrupt. <laughs> it's New Jersey, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Polly, you don't happen to have the number for the Hudson Herald handy, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. Perfect. Say cheese, fellas.